skills are learned through schooling. Is there anyone whose accounting certificate dropped from heaven? <laughs> you woke up one morning and <gasps> we learned through school, right? Yeah. No one woke up one morning and like, <gasps> look what I found. I've been certified as an accountant. No, we went through. I respect people who do accounting. I don't know how you deal with numbers. <laughs> I respect that. My family wanted me to go through that. They thought I was very good at it. But, um, okay, I don't want to go into that story. <laughs> Let me not go into that story. But all the same, none of us woke up one morning and discovered we are an accountant. We went to school to study that. But here's the thing about soft skills. They don't come from any academic institution. They come through life experiences, right? A lot of people, a lot of us are going through stuff and we are not allowing it to change us. We're going through life experiences and we are wasting our pain, we are wasting our struggle. We are becoming victims, but you have to become a survivor and that's how you develop soft skills. You know, soft skills are traits that make you a good employee, a good person, a good colleague to interact with. You have to influence hearts and minds to be able to win in this era. Whether you are a boss, as an individual, and you touch people's heart, they say what comes from the heart goes into the heart, right? When you touch people's hearts, that's when you win in this time or in this era. And it is quite important. So, like I said, we don't have to go into details about soft skills. I mean, hard skills are more concerned about soft skills, okay? The next thing on the, on the, on the, on the list of how you can stay relevant is that you should be able to adapt to change. Be like a chameleon. Not that type that backstab people, okay? <laughs> They're different types of chameleons. <laughs> you know those people you cannot trust? No, I don't, that's not what I'm talking about. So let's take, get that out of the way. I'm talking about a chameleon that is having the ability to adapt to the environment. Is that environment pink? It adapts. Is it blue? It adapts. Is it green? It adapts to that environment. That's what I'm talking about. Because uh, according to Charles Darwin, it is not the strongest species that survive, not the most intelligent. I know there are a lot of intelligent people here. Like you cannot be, I don't want to say dumb, <laughs> and have an accounting degree. So I respect that. It requires a lot of intelligence for you to work in finance, for you to go through school, crunching those numbers and actually graduate with a certificate in accounting. In fact, put your hands together for yourself. Just, just, just clap for yourself. That is a whole accomplishment, okay? But that's not what makes you relevant. What makes you relevant is your ability to adapt to change in the times in which you are living. So be like a chameleon. And with everything that I've been saying, if you sit back, and I find this quite interesting because a lot of people are worried being replaced by a robot, right? A lot of people are worried being replaced by a machine. But if you sit back, or you bury your head in the sand, or you do nothing, you will be replaced by someone who is leveraging technology and growing and improving themselves. You don't have to worry about a robot. The person who is improving themselves is the one who will get that promotion. Be like, but I have been here for 10 years. Just came in yesterday. Because this person is leveraging technology and improving themselves. The age where loyalty was a skill is over. The age where being friends with the boss and getting ahead. It's over. Maybe it's not completely over, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that you guys coming to an end, okay? Yeah. You have to be able to leverage technology to move ahead in life. Don't worry about a robot replacing you. Worry about your colleague who is lighting the digital candle in the night, searching through Google, looking for free courses, looking for things that can empower themselves and upskill themselves, that's the person you should be worried about. That's your competition, not a robot. Because so many people, like I said, they're like, we're barrels, right? This finance campaign, is it happening next year again? Maybe, okay. Some people will only think about digital disruption 
next year during the next finance finance conference but i hope it doesn't happen to anyone here that's what i'm talking about okay so it is time for you to take your own personal growth seriously it is time for you to take your own personal growth seriously otherwise you will not be replaced by a robot you will be replaced by someone who is leveraging on technology and moving ahead in life become part of the revolution because one thing i realized is that okay let me tell you a quick story I was in Kenya, uh, in Nairobi, Kenya, for a conference, and when I finished my presentation, someone put up the hand and like, Nikki, Nikki, Africa should not be talking about the fourth industrial revolution. We are still in the third industrial revolution. And that's a valid point to an extent. Let's, let's be fair. Okay? But I was like, yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, and then I asked the, the, the guy, what phone are you using? He said he was using, I think it was iPhone 11 at the time. I was using iPhone 11. I was like, wow, you said 4R is not supposed to be in Africa. You are more 4R than me. I don't even have an iPhone. He has iPhone 11. I'm like, okay, when was the last time you went to the bank to do any transactions? Like, it's been a long time. He does most of his transactions online. And yet, you are telling me that Africa is not ready for the fourth industrial revolution. I was like, okay, this is what is happening. When this revolution is happening, it's not asking you if you're ready. He's not asking anyone in this room, are you ready? Can I come now? He's not coming to say, hey, Africa, are you ready? No. And when we look on the other side of the coin, we are the ones driving this change. We are the ones driving the fourth industrial revolution. Nobody wants to go and stand in the queue in the bank. Who wants to go and do that? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> we want to press a button and a taxi is outside to pick us. Like for me this morning, you know. <laughs> on my Uber and got me to the airport. We want to press the button and pizza is delivered at the door. We want to sit on our laptops and finish with our financial transactions whatsoever. We don't want to go and have an interaction with the teller at the bank. Maybe he or she is having a bad day and you end up quarreling with that person. Nobody wants to do that. So as human beings, we are the ones actually driving this disruption and then we don't like the consequences of it and then that's when we start complaining. But here's what I want to leave you guys with. You cannot stop the fourth industrial revolution. You cannot stop technological advancement. Nobody has that power. But here's what you can do. You can influence its direction and impact in your life. And how do you influence that? I've already said it a thousand times. Leveraging your technology and improving yourself. That is the part you can control. Anything else, you cannot control. So don't focus on the phrase, yes, it's causing a lot of people to lose their jobs. True. But don't focus on that thread. Focus on the opportunity. Focus on what you can gain out of it. And as I conclude, I will leave you with this question. How's it going to be? I hope nobody is speaking. B. <laughs> <laughs> and so thank you for having me. That's the end of my talk. And if there are any questions, I will be looking forward to answering your questions. Thank you.